Okay, so now we're going to be testing out our scope legend, which is if a line stands to the right, it's positive, which means it's moving in the positive direction. Stands to the left, it's negative, which means it's moving in the negative direction. And if it's a horizontal line, it's at rest, and there's no slope to it. So now we're going to have two other types of graphs, which I'm going to show you. And we've seen this graph before, right? Because in the previous lesson, I was trying to show you different types of motion, and it turns out that if it's speeding up or slowing down, it's always going to be parabolic, which means rather than right, the U-shape. But these two are quite tricky. It's hard to tell what type of motion it is. But now we have a strategy. But now we have a strategy. We're going to draw tangent lines all along the curve, and we're going to follow the trend to determine if it's speeding up or slowing down. So let's pick a few random points along the curves, and then we're going to draw the tangents. Right away, without actually making up any numbers, you can see based on the steepness. At the very beginning, the steepness is almost zero, and as you move forward with time, the steepness begins to increase. So most certainly, this is going to be the case of speeding up. And let's do the same thing for the next one. Again, we pick a few random points, and we're going to draw the baby tangent. And now by looking at the trend of the tangent as time moves forward, it initially begins with a very steep line. And as you move forward with time, the steepness begins to decrease. If this is the trend that's occurring, we can say that the object is actually slowing down. So again, to describe the motion, we need two things, type of motion, direction of motion. Now, to get the direction of motion, we have to look at the sign of the slope and use our slope legend here. So let's go back to the first graph. And in this case, it is slanting to the left. So then you say it has a negative slope. And the object's moving to the negative direction, which makes sense because if you consider back to our tree as the origin, the cheetah starts some distance away from the tree to the right and it moves in the negative direction towards the tree. So that makes sense. Let's see if it makes sense for the second case. Well, based on the slope legend, it stands to the left, which means the slope has a negative value, which means it moves in the negative direction. Well, this also makes sense because the tree is the origin. The cheetah starts some distance away from the tree from the right, and it moves in the negative direction, which is the left. So that also is correct. So now we can say that this slope legend pops us out. And to further look at the trend, we're going to add one more uh, column to the slope legend. Okay, so this is used to tell the trend. If your graph starts with tangent line that's more or less horizontal, and the tangent lines are getting steeper, then we said that that is going to be considered to be speeding up. But the reverse can also happen, right? If you start off very steep, and your steepness begins to decrease, we can say that this is slowing down. The only reason why I did two possibilities is because the slope of the line can be slanted to the right or slanted to the left. But this is a very good legend to keep in mind whenever you're analyzing the position versus time graph and you want to tell whether it is speeding up or slowing down. So I hope that this was helpful. In the next video, I'm going to show you a bit more with what we can do with tangent lines to try to represent motion in a different way. So hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.